Here's Mike's or Poor Man Mods H1C that we did the upgrade to. I'm gonna change this plate out to this one. I polished this one up and cut it and everything. So I took it, grabbed it on the back, machined the front, flared it out a little bit, and then I cut, I cut the, uh, I guess the smaller inlet down a lot. Normally that comes up to about right here, but then I cut that down a lot because it's really not necessary to have that much of an inlet there. And then I also cut it for the anti-surge. The anti-surge is this groove right here. If you watched my video from yesterday, I guess it was yesterday, my last video, if you watched my last video, you'd see uh, I talk about why that groove has got for the housing. It's called anti-surge. So that's the compressor housing machining. The turbine housing, we just swapped over to our turbine housing. This is a 0.82 T3 turbine housing with a three inch V-band outlet with an interlocking V-band flange. This is a H1C turbo, if I haven't mentioned that already. So the H1C does need an upgrade rebuild kit. We use the upgrade HX collar and spacer, and then an HX40 62 millimeter compressor wheel that we designed for this turbo. The turbine wheel we use is a 64 millimeter turbine. So the reason we could use that with this turbo is because we switched over to our turbine housings that are machined for the HX40 62 mil, or 64 millimeter turbine. Otherwise, I don't use the HX40 64 millimeter turbine very often just because it's not a good replacement or it's not a good fitment if you try and machine an HX35 turbine housing for it because the blade width is too small on the HX40 64 millimeter. I haven't completely put this together yet. I don't have the compressor housing tied down or the exhaust housing tied down, but you could still get a good idea of what this looks like. On this turbo, the best results I've gotten so far is 718 horsepower, I think at uh, 33 PSI. Yeah, I think that's right, at like 30, 30 pounds or something. We got 724, wait, 718 horsepower. And that was on a BMW with the N54 engine. I had to remove my guard from my machine to be able to machine this because it had way too much swing. Here's a look at the back side. Try to cut that groove in there. In the description box, I'll link to Mike's channel. His channel is called Poor Man Mods. He's got a lot more subscribers than I do. Mike had reached out to me to do this build for his Supra. So if you wanna go and follow his channel and see what he's gonna do as far as this turbo goes and the vehicle he's putting it on, I'll leave links so you can go watch it on that channel. And I did one for another channel called Paradox. And I'm also doing another turbo for a third channel this one's for Devin, and I don't know how to say his last name, but that one will be one of the next featured videos that I'll do, which is an Evo 9 turbo that I'm gonna do. I will also link to the H1C kit and a couple of the parts that I use in this build in case you wanna go check those out. I Basically what I have is I have all this stuff in inventory, so I use all these to do my own builds for people. So if you're wanting to do your own build, I have stuff avail available that you can do that with. The only thing I don't have, I guess, that I don't have H1C compressor housings and plates already machined. I do have H1C plates and I can machine them to whatever you want. The turbos that I, are parts that I can make to whatever size you want is HX compressor housings and, and bearing housings. I can machine those to whatever size you want. I've got all the matching wheels and turbine wheels. And then I'm getting turbine housings for those that are gonna be machined. 
That way you can build your own turbo. I already have that set up for the uh, HE351CW, so you can actually buy the whole kit to put your own turbo together. I also had the whole turbo already put together, which we put these together and balance them out and everything, so you could buy the whole turbo. That just makes it easy for you in case you don't feel comfortable doing the rebuild by yourself. If you saw my power strip video, you'll know that we're doing a turbo giveaway. I've been thinking about keeping this one on the low, as in not making a YouTube video on it. That gives people that actually watch the videos, watch all of them, a better chance to win, which are the people that I feel are, I guess, you're more to like you're more involved in this channel and i feel like you guys deserve to win because you actually watch these videos more frequently so anyway we're doing a giveaway the way i'm going to do that is if we can build the whole turbo we're going to offer complete built turbos for the ones that are a little bit more complicated like i have to go out and buy a turbo and get a good good core and stuff i'm not going to do a giveaway on the whole turbo on those but what I will do is I'll do an upgrade giveaway where I'll give away like a compressor housing wheel and rebuild kit so that you can do your own build as an upgrade on your turbo. If you do want us to do the whole build and you have a turbo core to do for that, then we could do a rebuild and upgrade service as a giveaway. So that you can, we can do that. But like for the VE models, we're not gonna do a giveaway on the whole turbo the 6.0s i'm not going to do a giveaway on the whole turbos i could probably do one on a 7.3 because those cores are actually relatively cheap but i don't have very many of those here i think most of the people that are following me are usually with the 6.0 and a lot of the cummins scene so the cummins turbos i can build the common rail turbos and i can do the hx turbos and uh for like the BMW builds, I can give away a set of turbos for those. Um, or give away, a, I may want to give away a service with that one because those are kind of expensive to buy. It's kind of the main categories. So that's how that's going to go down. I'll mention more of that later in some of my other videos. But stay tuned on that because I'm going to announce how you're can, going to be able to enter to win that. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I'll make another video this by the end of this week or early next week.